welcome to medlacto today we are going to discuss a very important vitamin and that is vitamin a or you can say retinol so this is actually a fat soluble vitamins whenever you listen the word fats it's mean that they cannot be easily excreted from our body as compared to the water soluble vitamin so it's mean that they can cause toxicity when they start accumulating in our body so that the most important thing which you have to remember about the fat soluble vitamin so basically you will see the four most important uh, fat soluble vitamin and that is the deca that de d e k a that is deca vitamin d vitamin e vitamin k vitamin a so these are basically four fat soluble vitamins that can cause toxicity when they It starts accumulating in our body. So we are in this lecture. We will see the important features of the vitamin A. Okay. So first of all, if we discuss the sources of the vitamin A. So actually, vitamin A is present in two form: pre-form vitamin A and the pro-form vitamin A. So actually, source of the pre-form vitamin A is the animals. Okay. that's the most important thing so the pre form vitamins actually comes from the animal and the pro form vitamins actually comes from the plant okay that's the most important thing what is mean by pre forms so pre form vitamin a is actually the retinol okay most important thing pre form is the retinol that is the active form of the vitamin a that is called pre form vitamin a and pro form that this is not the active form of the vitamin a it will first convert into the active form then utilized in our body so pro form vitamin is actually present in the form of carotene that is actually present in the plants that's why they actually comes from the plants okay so in the animal you see the most important sources if i say liver liver kidney milk egg yolk so these are basically the different animal sources cream butter animal sources of the pre form vitamins that actually contain the retinol that is the active form of the vitamin a and in the plants you will see the most important yellow and orange fruits yellow and orange fruits and you can say green greenish vegetable so here are basically the different sources of the carotenes carotenes actually further convert into the retinol and then into the retinol which we discussed in later so these are basically the different sources of the vitamin a if we discuss the requirement according to the r d a recommended dietary allowance because when we take excess amount of the vitamin a then it causes toxicity so we require it in limited amount so in the male we require the 900 retinol activity equivalence that is the retinol activity equivalence so and in the female we require the 700 retinol activity equivalence so in male we require larger amount so what does it mean by one retinol activity equivalence so in one retinol activity equivalence you see the retinol is actually present in 1 microgram beta carotenes required in 12 and other carotenoids actually beta carotene is actually the carotenoid carotenoids has two form if i write it here that the carotenoid has two form xanthophyll and the carotene so 
beta carotene is specifically required in 12 microgram and the other carotenoids require in 24 microgram so this is basically the requirements of the vitamin a if we discuss the different forms of the retinoids retinoids is a family of different structurally related compound so first of all the most important retinol so retinol is present in the animal in the form of the retinyl ester okay Reti this is actually retinyl ester and the most important is the retinyl palmitate that is the example of the retinyl ester so this is actually present retinol is actually present in the animal tissue in the form of retinyl ester they can convert into the retinol in the intestine okay and as a result you see also release of the fatty acid okay that's the most important when the retinyl ester break then you will see the two most important compound retinol and the fatty acids so we again utilize the retinol and this process is interconvertible if fatty acid and retinol combine then you will see the retinyl ester formation and if retinyl ester break, then you will see the fatty acid and the retinol. So that's the most important thing. And next process, conversion of the retinol into the retinal, that is the aldehyde form. Okay. So in that situation, you will see this process also is interconvertible. Retinol can be converted into the retinal and retinal can be converted into the retinol. Okay. And last is the retinal ultimately convert into the retinoic acid. Now, again, retinoic acid cannot convert back into any previous one. This is the final state. Now, it will be stuck in the retinoic acid. Okay. In whole process, you will see this is actually the oxidation process. This is actually oxidation process. Convergence of the retinol to retinyl, retinyl to retinoic acid. That is the basically the oxidation process. Okay. And reverse will be the reduction. Okay. But most important thing is that retinol can also present in other forms like as we have discussed that the beta carotenes. Okay. When the beta carotenes break in equal, equally, then you will see from the structures of the beta carotene, you will see the formations of the two, two retinal, two retinal molecules. So again, when the, the, when the retinal is present in our body, it can be converted into the retinol as well. So that is the most important thing that is actually the plant, plant source. First, they will convert into the retina and ultimately they will convert into the retinal active form. And from the animal source, you see presence of the active form that is the retinol. So here is basically the different conversions. Retinol is actually the alcohol form, alcoholic form. Okay. Retinol is actually the aldehyde form. And last is the retinoic acid is the carboxylic acid group. Carboxylic acid. Now, here is the process. Alcohol converted to the aldehyde in the presence of or due to the oxidation and aldehyde convert into the carboxylic acid. If we discuss it separately. So, first of all, we will discuss the retinol that is the active form of the vitamin A. Retinol has a ring. If you see here, this ring. This is the structure of the retinol. This ring is actually the beta ionon ring. That's the most important thing. Retinol contains the beta ionon ring. Okay. And it is actually alcohol, alcoholic form of the vitamin. Alcoholic. Why? Because it contains the functional group and that is the OH. OH functional group is present at the end. So that is why it is called retinol. And you can also see it as the word and with the OL. And whenever the word and with the OL, it means that it is an alcohol. Okay. And next, it is the storage form. 
स्टोरेज फॉर्म ऑफ द वाइटामिन ए एंड इन वट फॉर्म एक्चुअली रेटिनॉल स्टोर इन एनिमल टिश्यूज एंड दे विल स्टोर इन दॉर्म ऑफ द रेटिनाइल एस्टर in the form of ester so that's the most important thing which you have to remember about the retinol and next is the retinal when the re you will see the oxidations of the retinol you will see the productions of the retinal and it is actually the aldehyde form aldehyde form of the vitamin a why because you see the presence of the aldehyde function group c double bond o and along with the h that is the aldehyde form okay and the you can also remember it by with the word that and with the al al whenever the word and with the al it's mean that it is an aldehyde so retinal it is the aldehyde form and the most important functions of the retinal in the vn that is actually the most important play an important role in the vn okay that is the retinal aldehyde form okay next is the retinoic acid so retinoic acid it is actually the carboxylic carboxylic acid forms of the vitamin a and because it contain the carboxylic acid functional group c double bond o o h and the most important thing that is the stuck form of the vitamin a it cannot convert back into the either retinal or the retinol it will remain present in the retinoic acid and play an important role like in the acne so this is basically the different uh, functions of the retinol retinals and the retinoic acid and the different forms of the vitamins a and the most important uh, terms that are quite confusing is the cis and the trans that's the most important thing whenever you see the presence of the carbon at both side along with the double bond okay here is the basic form carbon double bond and whenever you see the functional group seminal functional group at the same side then you will see what type of form it is it is actually the cis form here are basically the ch 3 ch3 similar groups actually present at the same side then we call it cis form okay when you see uh, the similar group actually present opposite or across each other if you see here ch3 ch3 that is the cross present and here is the hydrogen that's the most important thing that is actually the cis form when the similar group present at the same side of the double bond in the trans form you will see one group is present at one side and second group is present at the other side this is actually the trans form all these three retinol retinal and retinoic acid is present in cis and the trans form if the similar group or the higher molecular uh, group actually present at the same side then we call it cis and if they present in opposite side then it is called the trans form okay if i say that here all trans all trans retinal what does it mean it's mean that here are basically if you see this is the structure of the retinal and here is the presence of the 1 2 3 4 four double bond so in it's mean that all trans retinal means that at each double bond you will see the group actually present in trans form that is called all trans retinal when i say that i if i say 11 cis retinal what does it mean it's mean that at the 11th position if you count it here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 10 11 11 11 11 so at the 11th position you will see the presence of the cis form that is why it is called 11 cis retinal so here are basically the different basic concepts about the vitamin a that include the retinol retinal and the retinoic acid if you still have any question you may ask in the comment section thank you so much